Awami League has given Rangpur the status of division by eliminating Monga in the northern region, said Prime Minister. Dhaka court has sentenced Tariq Rahman to nine years, while his wife Zubeda Rahman three years in graft case. Bail granted to 32 students of various education institutions, including 12 students of Buet arrested in Shunamgon's Tangor Hall. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I'm Farhan Yasmin with the news and today watching headlines. Now the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has commented that the country did not develop during the time of BMP as they played tricks on the faith of the people of the country. She said that the Awamalik has given Rongpur the status of a division by eliminating Monga in the northern region. In the afternoon, she said these things in the much meeting organized by Awamalik at Rongpur Jilla School Ground, stating that democracy has been brought back to the country after many struggles. Prime Minister Minister said Awamalik has ensured the right of people to vote, stating that there will never be a famine in the northern region. She said that the goal of the government is to improve the fortune of the people of the country. Earlier, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina inaugurated 27 development projects and laid the foundation stone of five projects. A Dhaka court has sentenced Bangladesh Nationalist Party acting chairperson Tarek Rahman to nine years imprisonment and his wife Zubeda Rahman to three years in the graft case on charges of amassing illegal wealth. Dhaka Metropolitan Senior Special Judge Muhammad Asadu Jaman handed down the verdict today. The judge on Thursday fixed the date for the verdict after the conclusion of closing arguments in the case filed by the Anti-Corruption Commission during the military-controlled interim government in 2007. In the argument, SEC prosecutor Mushraf Hossein Kajol demanded the highest punishment for the couple 10 years jail on charge of amassing illegal wealth and three years jail on charge of concealing the information of wealth. Tariq, who was earlier sentenced to for varying terms in four other cases, and Zubeda, however, had no opportunity to defend themselves by engaging lawyer as they have been staying abroad since 2008 and was tried in their absence. Health Minister Jahid Malik said that the concerned institutions have been negligent in killing all types of mosquitoes, including Addis. The minister told reporters after the World Population Day program at the Bongomata Sheikh Fuzlatun Nesa Mujib Convention Hall on Wednesday. However, the people involved in the city corporation are unwilling to accept such complaints. Not only collective efforts, but awareness among all can reduce the transmission of this disease carried by the Addis mosquito. The court granted bail to 32 students of various education institutions, including 12 students of Buet arrested from Shunam Gonj, Tangor Haur. In the morning, when 32 accused applied for bail in the court for Joseph Hans Sadiq of Tahirpur Judicial Magistrate, who took charge of Shunam Gonj, the court granted them bail. Tahirpur police arrested them on their way to Takirghat tourist area through the Patlai River in Notun Bajar Patlai, North Shirpur Union of Tahirpur Pochela last Sunday. Arrested in the case on Monday afternoon and sent to court, the judge ordered 32 to jail and 2 to juvenile detention. The meteorological department has said that there is a risk of a storm with a maximum speed of 80 km over 10 districts of the country. The river ports of these areas have been asked to west running signal number 2 and seaport number 3 in the country. The weather forecast for the inland river port says that temporary gusty or windy rain with a speed of 60 to 80 km per hour from a south or southeast over Faridpur, Joshua, 
Kustia, Kulna, Borishal, Potuakali, Noakali, Kumila, Chitagang, and Cox's Bajar region. There may be rain with thunder. The river ports in these areas have been asked to host a naval warning signal number two. Apart from this, stormy winds with rain or thunder showers with a speed of 45 to 60 km per hour may blow temporarily from a south or southeast direction in other parts of the country. Former U.S. President Donald Trump is facing court again. He was charged with the four counts of meddling in 2020 U.S. election. Trump has been accused of criminal charges for the third time in the last four months. Prosecutor Jack Smith, who is investigating the criminal case against Trump, filed a 45-page indictment in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday. A total of four charges, including fraud against the state, conspiracy, obstruction of state work, resorting to illegal means, were brought. Following this, Donald Trump he has been summoned to a court in Washington on Thursday. The indictment names five other people as conspirators along with the former U.S. president. Pakistan's Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has said that he will sit at the negotiating table with India to resolve the dispute and improve mutual relations. Since gaining independence in 1947, the two neighboring countries they have fought three major wars. Despite this history of tension, Pakistan's Prime Minister has spoken of resolving the issue through dialogue in 2019 after the Indian Parliament revoked the spacious status of Jammu and Kashmir. The bilateral relationship of the two countries had a major impact. The Prime Minister of Pakistan said that it is important to remove the anomalies that are the throne in the relationship between the two countries. Otherwise, the way to solve mutual problems on the basis of discussion will also be blocked. We are about to the other headlines once again. Awami League has given Rangpur the status of a division by eliminating Monga in the northern region, says Prime Minister. Taka Court has sentenced Tarek Rahman to nine years while his wife Zubeda Rahman three years in graft case. Bail granted to 32 students of various education institutions, including 12 students of Buet arrested in Shunam Gonj, Tangwar Haur. Thanks for being with us to join with MyTV News on this YouTube slash MyTV BD News to watch all our programs YouTube slash MyTV Bangla, Facebook slash MyTV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be taken at 7.30 p.m. Stay connected and Allah Hafiz.